Now, last video I said that there was a bit of a historical, really inaccuracy with Vikings, but there's one that I found quite interesting, that story-wise, okay, they'll get some good stories out of it, but historically-wise, it wouldn't have happened. And that character that I'm particularly talking about is Ivar. Now, Ivar in the show is, well, he's cystic fibrosis, or I'm not exactly 100% sure what they've given him, but essentially his legs can't work. Now, this, in the Viking Age, he would not have survived. There is no way whatsoever he would have been able to survive in that Viking Age. Viking chiefs survived on their strength. If they weren't shown to be strong, then Ivar would have been challenged and he would have been killed in combat and... Well, he, he put it this way, he wouldn't have lasted long at all. So, why is this? Well, this all comes about because of his nickname, Ivar the Boneless. And we have all these accounts that Ivar um, was a huge, he was a giant guy. Now, the reason why this is, is because in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles and in the Viking um, sagas... Ivar is, is depicted as being so big he can't ride a horse and he was had to be ca carried about on a shield. Now, <coughs> this isn't the only time that important leaders, particularly in the sagas, have been carried about on shields. So, because of this, people have just assumed that somehow Ivar was um, disabled. And this is nothing against disabled people, but in that time period, someone with that disability would just have not been able to survive. And there is a documentary, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's about Ivar, and it's about this guy who is trying to prove that Ivar was, um, you know, this disabled Viking and that could have survived in this age. And you listen to all the experts, and there isn't a single expert that says, yeah, Ivar could have survived. Now, I like Ivar as the character in um, Vikings, and if you know anything about the history, you know what Ivar is going to start, you know what he's going to cause, and that is the great heathen invasion. So, I'm looking forward to how that plays out, but the real Ivar, there is no way that a Viking chief could have been um, disabled, you know, literally lost the use of his legs and have been able to not alone survive in battle as Ivar did. Ivar, in the even in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, was uh, said to be a great warrior. And you have numerous facts. Like One of the, the biggest things that says this didn't happen was that if he was, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles would have depicted him as such, and they wouldn't have had a problem. They have no problem depicting, you know, other Vikings and their heathen ways as being this evil, uh, bad thing, and they constantly point out other Vikings that have deformities or that have lost eyes. So why is the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles one of the, the best, um, you know, historical documents we have of this time not recording this? Because it didn't it didn't exist, and I worry now that popular culture is going to paint Ivar as something that he wasn't, and <coughs> it's not a problem. It's just that it goes against history, and this is what we see from historical programs like Vikings that occasionally take um, you know liberty with history and play fast and loose with it. So, it's a good show, I like it, but in reality, it's not 100% accurate. And I appreciate a show can't be 100% accurate and really represent that era, but they do a good job of it. I mean, let's put it this way, there's no way Vikings would walk around like some, you know, <coughs> Dark Age biking gang. There is far too much leather going on in what the Vikings wore, but... Hey, that's TV for you.